Welcome or welcome back on, uh, at C-Square. In this video, we're going to take a look to import trigonometric function. And first of all, let's take a look to this statement. I have a function has an inverse if the graph of the function passed the horizontal line test. That means the function is one to one. And this is one, probably one of the first trigonometric functions we're learning, which is sine, right? Look at here. This sine function does not pass horizontal horizontal line test so it's not one to one so how can we get an inverse yeah. look at here what I said to the next statement we need to restrict the domain and then we can have a one to one function look at here instead of looking to the whole real number we're going to look to a piece of the sine function which is between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 okay and then this function passed the horizontal line test and we have an inverse which looks like that so now this is the idea of this last part which you see here in this definition it's very important to see this inverse uh, sine function in this format the, the inverse sine function also you can hear this name arc sine this is a one way to uh, right arc sign and this is a second way either way is good so what can we do here now we can come over a problem like this we want to find the arc sign of square root of 3 over 2 okay so the way I would like here to, 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 to uh, solve the problem is by going backwards I'm looking for an angle or an arc whose sine is square root of 3 over 2 or a simple way to say hey sine of theta is square root of 3 over 2 how much is that theta and for that reason I'm going to bring here the unit circle okay the unit circle and if you remember this the range of this arc sine is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 so therefore, close both sides. Therefore, this part of the unit circle we don't need it. So we're gonna look only to the right side here. And you need to find the moment or the sign, right? The y coordinate you see it is square root of 3 over 2, which is right here, right? Sign it's square root of 3 over 2 at 60 degree or pi over 3. This is the answer. Go ahead and try this problem. If you end up if you end up with a negative pi over six, excellent job. So here I have a mistake. I need a circle that should be negative one half. Uh, similar, we can go and discuss about the inverse function of cosine, which is called the arc cosine. And you can see here one notation and another one here. And the thing is very important to look to this uh, domain and the range, right? Uh, and the same idea, we restrict the domain just between 0 and pi, and now we can see the inverse function. So now let's see a problem. I'm looking to find the arc cosine of 1. Okay, cosine of what angle is 1, in other words? Okay, so again, I'm going to bring this unit circle, and now in the unit circle, I'm going to remove the bottom of the unit circle I'm going to look only to the top of the unit circle and where is the cosine one and cosine is one again and cosine is the x-axis right here at zero so theta is zero degree or zero radians either way is good we prefer radians to 
Okay, and that's it for this problem. Go ahead and try this one. If you end up with 5 pi over 6, then is excellent. Okay, and the last inverse trigonometric function is what we call arc tangent, the inverse of the tangent function. And you see here the notation, or this one, and yeah. one more time, take a look to the domain and the range. And the same idea. We restricted the domain here of the tangent, and there you go. This is the inverse of the tangent, our tangent. Okay, how are we gonna solve a problem like this? Tangent of, I mean, the arc tangent of zero. So if you look to this unit circle, we can use it somehow, but not exactly like the other two examples. For example, why? Because this one has only sine, in cosine. But the first part is kind of the same. I'm looking for an angle whose tangent is zero. And now, if you remember, the tangent is sine over cosine. Okay, so when is this quotient equal to zero? When the sine is zero. So basically now we're going to look on the right side, the, for the arctangent also, you're going to look on the right side. No pi over 2, no negative pi over 2, right? It's an open uh, interval for the range of the arctangent. And where is the sign 0? If we take a look, the sign is 0 right here, at 0 degree or 0 radian. And that's it. That's the answer for this one. Go ahead and try this one. If you end up with this answer, negative pi over 3, negative 60 degree, that's wonderful. If you have notice here again, no, we don't need this sign. Uh, and uh, then we know looking and this is a negative value, that means we're going to be in quadrant 4. And then we have two choices, this one, don't forget this is negative here, minus 4, or this one. And this is the only one that works if we do the uh, quotient sine over cosine. Yeah, so again, it's a little bit more to work on our tangent. Uh, you may uh, want to practice more with this guy. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Squirt for more time. Thank you.